I mean, obviously we lost today and we didn't score the runs that we thought we were, but I mean, all in all, I thought we swung it pretty good today. Had a few decent arms and I felt like, I mean, we hit every ball, it felt like to the warning track and it was just caught, you know. Keen lines out to left, 100 miles per hour. It's like, it's just kind of the way the game went, you know. I'm not sure if you, if you guys noticed the dugout, but it seemed like Utah was kind of taking out your guys' home run celebrations toward the end of it. Um, so this one you guys noticed, and it was kind of the emotions or kind of thoughts you guys had? I didn't notice that, but I just, they were definitely loud towards the end. But I mean, they were scoring runs, so I guess as they should, you know. Just the series as a whole, obviously, Friday night was embarrassing loss, and tonight was pretty demoralizing, too. Yeah. So how do you guys kind of take these emotions and you know, kind of flush them away so it doesn't linger on the rest of the way? I mean, it's baseball. You're going to lose, you're going to win, but it's just consistently staying positive and doing your best each and every pitch, you know, in every pitch. You're into the back half of the year and you know, getting deeper into this season. you got five games, six days upcoming this week. Yeah. This week. How do you guys keep yourself fresh? I mean, we're going to be lifting, we're going to be taking care of our bodies, eating, sleeping, doing all the recovery stuff, but I mean, it's all mental, you know. It's like we're losing. Sometimes it's like, so what? You know, you got to show up every day and put your best product on the field. You and Josh wrote last night that it was just much more fun to just be in the dugout and just be out there. And it seemed like, especially early on, you guys were just hooping and hollering and it was so mm -hmm. much fun. But um, what necessarily is important to like keep that mindset going even when maybe things aren't going the way that you want to be on the field? I mean, for the most part today, I felt like it was the same way. Like, even from the first pitch to the last pitch, I felt like we were trying to win every pitch. and putting together quality at bats, but the ball wasn't really dropping the way we thought it would, and that's kind of just how the game went. How do you kind of, I know we've been talking about it, but in the first game, you guys had good swings, this ball wasn't going the same way, and then tonight, today, it's not the same kind of sort of thing. You're hitting balls, but you're just not going in the right area. Um, how do you kind of go with that frustration and um, you know, keep your confidence up when those kind of balls aren't dropping the way you know they want to? I mean, it's it's definitely a feeling game, you know, round ball, round bat, pitchers trying to get you out, and then you got eight defenders out there. So, I mean, all you can do is put the best swing you can on it, and, you know, that's all you can control. Put the barrel on the ball and run hard down the baseline. What we talked about on Friday was a little frustrated sometimes with the approaches with yeah. this group. What do you feel changed these last two games to get a lot more round balls? Well, I mean, we had some hitter socks and stuff, and, you know, on Friday it was a lot of quick outs, you know, quick, weak contact, and even today, I mean, I felt like for the most part it was pretty loud, loud contact, and we were just trying to win every pitch, you know, put together quality at bats, and your first two strikes are for you, and your last one's the last one's for the team, you know, not striking out and putting the ball in play and busting your butt down to first base. So obviously early on the three-zero lead, you had back to back to back home runs, mm -hmm. and then kind of went away from that. What were some of the things that felt like could be changed that allowed the runs to kind of stop coming as they did? I mean, I I didn't personally face the first pitcher, but it just felt like everyone was on time for that fastball and. They, they jumped him really early. They took him out and they put some, you know, sinker slider guys that were just trying to get you to chase. But I felt like for the most part, we started, we got to him too. I mean, all the guys, I felt like we were getting good swings off and just doing good. It's just, it wasn't landing, you know? We were getting runners on and doing our thing. Eventually, this point of the season, like, I know that you guys are saying when you just lost it, you guys got to keep moving forward. But eventually, these losses start to kind of pile up. They do. You guys look ahead to the postseason. So, how do you guys kind of, you know, handle that knowing that? more losses means kind of the resume is getting, um, you know, worse and worse as the season progresses. I mean, obviously, it, it sucks losing, and, you know, you you definitely feel like, hey, we're getting to the back half of the, the season, but it's like, I mean, there's nothing you can do about that right now. It's like you just got to live in the present and try and win every pitch and every game, you know. We definitely got enough time still to get it going, so. Um, you talked about controls and the pace runners. So if you can't control them, then you can't control them. Yeah. Just focus on the little wins, you know, like, hey, it was a ball in the dirt, like something like me, if it's in middle end and I, sometimes I'll go at it, it's like, hey, if I lay off of it and it's a ball, like, hey, that's a win, you know, win every pitch, find a way to make things happen, you know, no matter what, 8-0 for us and 8-0 the other way around, it's like, you're just trying to put your best, your best approach each pitch. Do you feel like there's been better communication and sort of, I guess, uplifting in those situations where things may not be going well for a guy and where a guy's in a slump and there's more camaraderie and rallying around each other rather than um, sort of isolation of each other? I mean, some guys, I mean, there, there's definitely like some struggles, you know, 
some stuff like you wouldn't really expect, but I mean, that's also baseball. And in the end, it's, it's a mentality and it's, it's a failing sport, you know? So it's staying positive, no matter if you went 0 for 4 the, the last day before. I mean, look at Toby. He went 0 for 3 with three punches on Friday and he came, I mean, he got how many hits the last two days? It's like he was all over it. So baseball can change at any moment and it's just being mentally tough and being ready to go. So there's stuff that you guys weren't necessarily expecting, I'm not going away, but what exactly are some things that you feel like aren't, that maybe aren't falling up to the expectations? Uh, I mean, obviously I could say our hitting, you know, we, like that's our, I, feel, I still feel like our strongest thing. Like, I feel like you can look at our lineup and it's like, gosh, like he can do it, he can do it, he can do it. I mean, it's just putting it together at this point, you know, like not thinking about yourself and just putting the team first and doing the best you can, you know. I feel like we're seeing it. We saw it today. I felt like I saw it today, and yesterday was really good. So, so some of you guys, would you say, putting it, you said you guys had to put it all together. What's kind of stopping you guys from doing that the last few weeks, and what would you have to do to get to that point over the last four or five series? It's just, I guess, like just trying to find ways to win. You know, it's just focusing on every pitch. Like I feel like sometimes we can, like, we got really talented guys, and it's like, oh, I just want to get that big hit. You know. It's like, all right, we're down by four, you know. Uh, solo homer's not going to do it. So let's just find ways to get hits and keep doing that. I mean, I fall victim to it too. You know, it's like we're down in the game, and it's like, oh, I just want to do something big. It's like, no, we're down by five. We're down by six. It's like just stick to it, the approach we're taught day in and day out and, you know, pass it on to the next guy. Do you feel like that's kind of the heart of the issue, kind of like the individualism thinking in the sense of, like, I'm the one who gets a big hit to kind of help the team move forward, or do you feel like it's something else that's at the root of the issue? I mean, I don't know. I, it could also be both. I mean, I know how I think, and I don't know how everyone else thinks, but I feel like for the most part, it's always it's team baseball, and we're trying to do it, you know. But sometimes the ball doesn't fall your way. Thanks, Thanks for yep. Appreciate it. Yep.